show on the, the, the distinguished dark blue and yellow WD-40 Honda doesn't get the best of start. It's Adam Jenkins and Jenko hits the front, riding the SMT Racing Kawasaki number 11, the championship Ooh. leader. And someone's already uh, tidily grass-tracking, but staying on board and will rejoin in more or less last place. I tell that you, looked as if it might be number 10. I tell you what, Josh Wainwright from the middle of the grid got a terrible start. He just dumped the clutch, it popped into a wheelie. He just really didn't look quite prepared for that. And uh, he just went back to about 15th spot from second on the grid. Jenkins and Palmer Aquino, Cox, Jackson, East, Andrews, quickly, Steve Brogan, and not even in the top 10 for the aforementioned Josh Wainwright. It was uh, the Ulster teenager Joshy Elliott from Bali Mallard on the JAR Acons Project Kawasaki who went grass tracking so he's now right at the back of the pack. Yeah in a park there just a few quarters ago you actually Tristan Palmer just slipped up the inside Tristan Palmer there on the beautiful Panigale Ducati. Um, Tristan currently fourth in the championship won two races and a third in the four races he's done so far this season so pretty impressive form from him. So at the front as they cross, look at this, he's immediately opening up a gap of checkers and here comes, what a move by Tommy Aquino, he just prances through on the inside on the entrance to Ireland Benz, that was a strong move on Victor Cox and it worked. So he's now back through into third place, the man who was on pole position. Yeah, and look at him, he's on the yellow and blue WD-40 Kawasaki there and climbing all over the back of Jenkinson. He's going to swap, he's going to have a look up the inside coming into here. And he goes, oh, does he, Jenkinson's not going to give it to him, is he? No, not quite that lap. But the American really trying, you can see his intent. Oh, look how close these are. We've got Cox fourth, Lee Jackson is there in fifth place. His uncle, Lee Jackson, also a Lincolnshire man, is, of course, a former race winner here at Cadwell Park in the Superstock 1000 Championship races. Uh, Lee Johnston back in 10th, Joe Burns 11th, and we had the stuffing knocked out of him himself a bit, and uh, sadly, Reggie Wainwright has dropped back to 13th place after that brilliant qualification lap in second. Yeah, that's what happens. You can't fluff the start, least of all here. Cadwell, it's thin, it's narrow, and it's hard to pass. But look at them all backing up behind Jenkinson. And Tristan Palmer currently riding superbly. He's got probably about a second lead there. Jenkinson second on the red and yellow SMT racing bike. Aquino third. Cox, Jackson, Andrews, East. Simon Andrews, who uh, suffered such uh, terrible leg injuries at Snetterton two years ago, really beginning to find his form now on the number six RAF reserves Honda. Yeah, we, we glimpsed number 17 as well, Steve Brogan in there. He was involved in that same uh, enormous pile-up. He's running in eighth oh, place. Oh, sorry, Tommy Aquino there. Again on the same spot. Beautiful move coming over the mountain there, Jack. And look at that gap. He's already put a bit of gap in between uh, him and Adam Jenkinson. The pole man, the American, you know, he said he came over. He said he struggled a bit. You know, new tyres. He'd never ridden on Pirelli's, never ridden 1,000cc, never been to England. And, you know, all these things took a little bit of time to get going, but they've got going now. He's really, really getting the swing of it, and, uh, you know, his results speak for themselves. 131.311, he was the fastest man on track on that lap as he's leaving behind him this battle with Jenkinson leading Victor Cox, third-place man in the championship last year. There is Aquino. What a lovely... so he, said, he says he's like to be known as Hollywood Aquino. Oh. Someone's run off track, though, coming out of Charlie's, kept it upright. It looks like Andrews. Look, is that... Can't see, mate. Not on our miserly screen. <laughs> no, 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 sorry. It's number 56, isn't it? It's, uh, oh, James it's James East. East. The Ida Kawasaki of James East. What a shame. He was having such a... Trying to impress new team manager Colin right there and, uh, and Eastie's runoff. He was running in seventh place. He's beginning to get to grips also with a 1,000cc bike. At the front, I think the WD40 Kawasaki's closing the gap on Tristan Palmer and that red Ducati. Yeah, this is this is the James East thing. Oh, he nearly clips the back of him there. He's lucky to keep it upright. Goes wide there, and the, the namesake, I said Andrews, but Simon Andrews doing a great job. He's actually in fifth. That was James East there going off the track. It was Lee Jackson. He nearly caught the back wheel off. Uh, Lee Jackson, who's... Uh, dad, as I mentioned, was a race winner. He actually back in 2005 on a Yamaha in this category. As they drop down, the uh, Ducati Panigale twitching a bit into the hairpin. Number 30. Oh, oh straight on goes Victor Cox. The tall Wilshireman looks round over his shoulder. Whoa. That'll cost him a hat full of places. He rejoins behind Lee Johnston and therefore back in the ninth place. Across the line, though. No. Aquino, once again the fastest, 130.844. So he's edging closer to the lap record as he closes the gap 
on the front runner. That was really weird from Victor Cox there. It's like he got it completely wrong. Just a few years ago, there was no runoff. It was just a tire wall. You'd have been straight over to the farmer's field. And um, <laughs> you really would have done. And um, But it was weird. It just it looked like he completely missed his braking marker. Second place, Tommy Aquino, living with Brent Gladwin in uh, Sheffield. Now, there's a there's a, a lesson and an education in itself from a young man from Hollywood. <laughs> but he says uh, he says he's he's enjoying uh, doing all this training and stuff and and working hard. Except Friday nights, it's a ritual that you have to go out on the town with Brent on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> so Tommy Aquino running strongly in second place. He'd like to be known as Hollywood Aquino. It's actually his mum who lives in Hollywood. His dad lives in uh, Santa, Santa Clarita. Oh. Sorry, Andrew says. Simon Andrews has worked his way up into third. Just saw him have a little oh. brilliant ride from Simon Andrews there, number six. He's looking on the Honda there, but he had a bit of a moment coming out of Mansfield. A few corners before, foot off the peg. But Simon Andrews really finding some form again. So, Andrew, look at this. This is great to see. He's been riding the season, of course, in the World Endurance Championship with the TT Legends Honda team. So uh, he's, he's been getting himself back to full strength and speed, and it's, this is the first time we've caught a glimpse of it in the National Superstock Series. And look at Aquino. He's got a fantastic drive out of there. Side by side, but Palmer's got the line. I can't see him go around the outside of Palmer. Yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> and there he does it. Swoops through Coppice Corner into Charlie's, and uh, the likeable Californian nicks the lead from uh, Treacle Palmer from Nuneaton in the Midlands. What a way to do it. Fastest man on that last lap, Simon Andrews in third, a 130.6. That was 0.9 of a second quicker than um, Palmer in the lead. So it's um, you can see the man in third, he's catching these leaders. He's the one to watch. Aquino, Palmer, Andrews, Jackson, Johnston, Jenkinson now dumped back to sixth place ahead of Cox, Brogan and Quigley. Oh, ho, ho, lay it down, why don't you? On the fifth lap of 15, Aquino really enjoying himself here. And uh, one of the things that inspired him to come, that one of the persuasive factors that uh, Axland and Wayne Rainey and, and uh, whoops, a daisy, as uh, Victor Cox recovering as he drops downhill, and Chuck Axland oh. used to persuade him was how much success PJ Jacobson was enjoying here. They're of a similar age. They've briefly raced it one, against one another back in 2006. Yeah, broken a bit of a moment there. We saw him just coming out of Mansfield again. It's easy to do there, you've got to watch the front as you go in, then you accelerate and the bike wants to slide. You know, you often see quite a few high sides. That was where we saw Sealy go down yesterday in the sprint race in Supersport. And there's the championship leader, number 11, Adam Jenkinson, currently in sixth. But remember, his main rival, um, the South African, Hudson Kenner, did not start. He had a problem. He was pushed off the grid. So, you know, for, for Adam Jenkinson, he's just got to make hay at the moment. Jenkinson there, number 11, pushed, squeezed back to seventh place now, ahead of Brogan Quigley and a recovering Josh Wainwright. And that is Brogan. Look at Brogan all over the back of him again. We haven't seen too much of Steve Brogan. You know, great rider, great guy. It's nice to see him sort of pushing back in, uh, you know, sort of positions he, he wants to and needs to be in. This is the huge swoop down the park straight, dropping down into park corner. Take your pick. You can see the one of the four eggs, say Aidai Kawasaki there of James East running in 15th place. He has recovered uh, back into the points after that unfortunate excursion when he nearly tickled the rear wheel of Lee Jackson going into Charlie's. Jackson now up in fourth place ahead of Lee Johnston, uh, chasing down at number six, Simon Andrews. This is getting fascinating because there, there's a lot of guys running powerfully and making progress in the race. So we're not only looking at Andrews now, we're also having to keep an eye on little Lee Bob Jackson as well. Yeah, Aquino though, Aquino's the man. He's just put out a few more tents on that in that last split. So 0.9 of a second. So Aquino just doing Jenkinson having a bit of a covering line. That was number 18, Lee Johnston. Sorry, in fact, uh, just behind him is number 28, Victor Cox, trying to recover ground. Uh, Jenkinson behind these guys now. That's the Paget Honda of number 18, the Irishman General Lee Johnston. Uh, having a good ride on uh, it was, his, his, you know, he's been kind of uh, going off and doing the roles of it. Look at this, here's Simon Andrews now on the back wheel of the Rapido Sport Racing Ducati Panigale, Tristan Palmer. Yeah, these guys though just dropped into the mid to mid to low 31s of that last lap, where it was a 30.6 for um, the leader of Aquino, so Aquino's um, doubled his lead, it's now 1.8 seconds, and you can see how Simon Andrews is setting himself up for a move up the inside, coming into park, he pulls out, but no, Palmer's late on the brakes, oh, he's going to let off, it's going to be tight into there, 
Oh, he was just touching. He was yeah. a bit caught in two minds there. James, you that you guys, you use this wonderful expression, let off the brakes. How on earth can you let off the brakes and still stop for a corner that you were presumably let breaking rather late into? Yeah, it's more of a kind of an ease, you know, you just sort of, <laughs> you know, you, you just, it's just a fraction, you know, if someone's out breaking you, you might find, you know, normally you are on the limit, but there's always a, just a fraction that maybe you can just sort of let out of it to compete with that person next to you. A beautiful Ducati panning out oh. again, fighting to keep ahead of number six, Simon Andrews. Andrews tried to make a move up the inside as they went into the hollow. Now he'll pull it back over the mountain. He's... And it's really good to see the Worcestershireman back on this kind of form, yeah. really forcing the pace on that beautiful Honda Fireblade. He's just got to be a little bit patient though, Andrews. He is a bit quicker than Palmer right now, but he doesn't want to get desperate. You know, you'll just have to, you just have to pick your moment at Cadwell Park. You know, it's tight, it's difficult. One line is ever so quick. So this is a good spot if you can get a good drive out of here he does get a good drive he could look to the inside and he pulls out let's have a little look we've seen the farmer get no not on that lap he learned his lesson from Aquino went around the outside of him and again Aquino they're, they're in mid 31s Aquino's in high 30s so again Aquino's put a big and, lump into that and Lee Jackson the third man in that picture in the yellow helmet he was on a 131-0 on that lap so he has zeroed in on the two guys in front of him and the, another of the local Lincolnshire lads looking for a possible podium here Tristan Palmer just ahead of Simon Andrews on the Honda and then right behind them number 14 Lee Jackson on the build base BMW. Yeah, he's such an impressive youngster as well, Lee Jackson. I like the way he's been going about it. You know, he's been doing a really good job. He's um He's still only 17, yeah. you know. He doesn't turn 18 till next month. Lee Jackson. And then and he's you know, he's he's mastering this uh, howling great thousand cc well, four still in the motorcycle rather well that's it and he's eighth in the championship he did have a podium at snetterton he got a third spot and um you know he looks like he could well be battling for a podium already on, the, on this race as well so it's a great ride from lee jackson there on the build base bmw over the top of the mountain once again tristan palmer getting scarcely no air time at all as they cross the, the top of the mountain they crested it there Right behind him, Simon Andrews, still forcing the pace, still trying to find uh, some kind of crack in his defences. We're on the eighth lap of 15, Aquino running ahead of these guys. He had a two and a half second advantage on the last lap. And uh, Danny Johnson... Oh, a big moment coming out of bar corner there for Simon Andrews. Cost him a bit of drive, he's still there behind the Ducati, but not able to get alongside. Yeah, he's looking all the way, but he's trying to go around the outside to beat him to the inside. Oh, oh no! Oh. oh, no, no, no. Wow, that was a that was a rather unfortunate incident coming out of no. Coppice there into Charlie's. Well, I'd said a few laps ago he shouldn't get desperate. He didn't get desperate. You have to pick your moments at Cadwell Park, and at the end of the day, he doesn't leave he doesn't leave Palmer any choice there at all. He's got that completely wrong. He's caused Palmer to have a big crash, and um, you know if he waited a few more corners, you could have got him at the end of straight at Park, and um, you know that's. Uh, that's oh, someone else. A, a Kawasaki down as well, by the looks of it, um, in, the, in the general melee. We've got another faller here. Unfortunate for Tristan Palmer. I hope he's OK. He didn't, yeah, he he didn't seem down. to have too big an impact, into, but the, the docks were looking a little concerned as they reached him. And uh, another faller there trudges off. And uh, Tommy Aquino leads the way handsomely now from uh, Andrews, it's Simon Andrews in second place. Here is Aquino going about his business on the WD-40 Kawasaki, really enjoying himself here and uh, properly, potentially, was... following in the footsteps of PJ Jacobson. That was Carl Wilkes, number 23 there, that, um, that was off at Charlie's. The rider was OK. Also, we see Danny Johnson on the Four Angels bike. He's off as well. Look at him squaring it off there. What a beautiful bit of riding that was from, uh, from Tommy Aquino. Jackson's now second a good comfortable second with um with uh simon andrews, simon andrews third. sorry simon andrews third so fourth will be victor there. cox and then this battle there is lee johnston now number 11 smt kawasaki's adam jenkinson with work to do because josh wainwright has plundered his way through the pack from outside the top dozen and is now through into seventh place displaying the kind of pace that he's found uh, there's only two Olin's suspended Kawasaki's out there in this race. One of them is the leader, Tommy Aquino. The other one is number five. He's gone back to his original favourite number five to try and change his look, Josh Wainwright. And he's pressing Adam Jenkinson hard now for that sixth place after making such a mess of his start. That, and that, as you say, is a brilliant ride from him because he was 13th or 14th after that start on the first lap. And to work his way, pick his time, pick his moments and keep working through. You can see uh, 
you can see sort of uh, Wayne right there, number five in the Kawasaki. But that's a, that's a really good measured ride from him. There he is with the, the bright red front to the green Kawasaki, uh, Josh Reggie Wainwright. As, uh, he's in there ahead of uh, Ashley Beach, having a good ride as well behind him. And Luke Quigley, Brogan's been pushed back to 10th. Joel Burns is in 11th place. Really impressed with uh, number 38, Ashley Beach, on the Jones Dawling Racing Kawasaki. Oh. We've had another faller, and that's, on, that's Hegarty's gone down on the infield, coming between Park and Chris Curve, I think. That's an odd place to get to, James. How is he, has he arrived there, I the, wonder? That is an odd place. That is a very strange place to get to. Compare the lap times across the line. Aquino, 131.5, 130.9 for Lee Jackson. I thought Jackson had, was setting rather a scalding pace there. Lee Johnston running strongly there in fifth. And then this huge gang with Josh Wainwright trying to find a red way flag. past Adam Jackson. The red flag's out. The red flag's out. We're on the 11th of 15 laps which would be two-thirds race distance, 10 laps out of 15. My maths, as far as I can remember, went between being uh, be a bit scolded by Polly Ranson at, at Henry Smith Grammar School. That does it indeed mean two-thirds race distance. And, oh, there's Faller is on the outside yeah, you can see of the of park straight. So almost certainly someone's got sort of tangled there. Obviously, it's fast there. And... Um, and gone down. So the re it's a red flag and a result and a victory for Tommy Aquino, not only becoming the first American to sit on pole position, we think, here. Uh, there's, thankfully, to, uh, good to see a slightly beaten-up-looking Tristan Palmer at least sitting up and chatting to the medics there, but uh, probably has had the wind rather knocked out of him. Tommy Aquino won it, number 14, Lee Jackson, a brilliant ride to second place for the Lincolnshire lad. In, uh, on the built base BMW, but for the WD40 machine. Well, and Tommy Aquino. A great win from Tommy Aquino, as you say. That really is a, a, a top job from the American. Um, I think Jackson was starting to catch him, but God, you've got to feel for Tristan Palmer. You know, let's hope he's all right, but he is going to be absolutely livid at, uh, at Simon Andrews. Andrews obviously getting third there, but very, very. Uh, very harsh move there Simon, from Simon Andrews, but uh, it is a Queen Oak, Jackson, Andrews, Cox. So uh, Lee Bob Jackson applauding the fans after uh, having enjoyed that uh, brilliant ride through into second place. So there were a lot of very, very, very outstanding rides, not all from the people we expected. Tommy Aquino, perhaps we should have seen that coming from pole position, but what a couple of overtaking manoeuvres he produced on the WD-40 Kawasaki. The 21-year-old, who would like to be known as Hollywood Aquino, of uh, <laughs> Italian parentage, that's no surprise, wins it from Lee Bob Jackson, build base BMW. Third place, Simon Andrews on the RAF Reserves Honda. At, at last, a podium for them. Victor Cox on the ILR Kawasaki is fourth. Lee Johnston, Padgett's Honda fifth. Adam Jenkinson leads an absolute rack of Kawasaki's just hanging on in front of the brilliant Josh Wainwright and uh, with the number eight faller Dan Hegarty has been taken incidentally to the medical centre hence the red flag Josh Wainwright in seventh place uh, for the Beatwiser Kawasaki team ahead of a very impressive Ashley Beach Luke Quigley ninth Steve Brogan in tenth 11th place for Joel Burns, somewhat detuned after having that massive points penalty to knock him out of the top three in the championship. James East recovers bravely to 12th place ahead of Robbie Brown, the former Ducati uh, 848 Triple chal uh, Challenge champion. Johnny Blackshaw finishes 14th, at last getting some points for the Cheshire boy ahead of Josh Day in 15th. And out of the points, such fast men as Philip Backlund, Dominic Usher, John O'Howarth, Peter Ward and Ruddy.